It's happened to all of us. You're moving something around the house and you bang it into the wall, leaving a nice hole. Don't worry, you've got this. It's not that difficult to fix. Here's Tom to show you how. Hey guys, it's Tom again from the Homecraft Chronicles. Have you ever had a mishap like this? Well, patching a hole in drywall is really not as complicated as it may seem. And I'm gonna show you just how quick and easy it can be. I'm just gonna take my straight edge, make a few lines around it, and that's it. Next, I'm gonna cut it out. And to cut it out, I'm gonna use this. It's called a keyhole saw. You don't have to have this. It's a couple dollars at the home improvement store, but it's made for this exact project. But if you don't have it and all you have is a regular razor knife, that's gonna work as well. You put it on your line and you jab it right through. And then just in short strokes, go up and down your line. And you do that all the way around. Again, just jab through, it goes through real easy because there's a point on the end of the, of the saw. But just say you don't have that and you, all you have is a razor knife, that's gonna work too. Just score the line, and then just go over it a couple of times until you're through. And then once you have it cut, you just pull out this, the piece that you have cut out, and you're ready to make your patch. I want you to cut an oversized patch. You can see there's a paper side and then just the back side. I'm going to draw my square on the back side. Okay, I'm going to make my three and a half inch square on the back side. Okay, so I have my three and a half inch square. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend that about an inch around. I'm just going to use the opposite side of the ruler to make my, my border. And I'll do that all the way around. So this is my patch and this is my border. Now I'm going to cut out along the outside border. And how you cut drywall, you don't cut drywall straight through. Drywall, you score it and then you snap it. It's not like sawing wood. So, just like this, I score the paper on the line. And then I just snap it. And then just fold it back and cut the paper on the other side. And I'll just do that all the way around. So I have my square, and now I'm going to go back and just score the lines for the original patch. Now that I have the, everything scored, what I'm going to do, I'm still going to snap it again, but I'm not going to cut on this side. I'm just going to peel off that piece of drywall and it comes right off all the way around and now I have a patch with the tape right on there's a border of paper so it's basically ready-made tape in the patch next thing I want to do is I want to take my razor blade and I want to cut a little bit of a bevel right here on the edge of the hole that I made. Doesn't have to be anything severe, just a little bit of a, a bevel facing outward. Now that I'm ready to put the patch in, you're thinking how am I going to fasten that because there's no wood to, to nail it onto. I'm going to take a scrap of wood and I'm going to slide it up in the hole and then pull it down and then I just fasten it and when you set the screw you want it so the screw is below the surface of the paper but you don't want to break the paper now naturally if you had a piece of uh, framing back here if you happen to hit where a stud was you could just go right into that and now I'm ready for the patch this hole were bigger you would put one of these pieces overlapping the side of each hole but for a small hole like this one in the middle is fine so then I just take my patch I put it in there 
And I'm just going to put a screw in the top and the bottom. I just have some ready-made spackle or drywall compound. I pull back my paper a little bit and I force it into that bevel that we made. And I just smooth that out. And I do that all the way around. Okay, so I've mud all around. And now with a clean blade, scrape off the excess mud and just push that paper into the mud. And with the little bit of mud you have left, go over the patch and fill those screw holes. And for your first coat, that's all you're gonna do. All right, so I've waited overnight and my first coat of mud is dry. Before I apply the second coat, I'm just gonna knock down any of the ridges or bumps that were caused by the old mud. So I just put it on, the same rules apply. Get it on there, even it out, and then leave it alone. Just very light pressure. And I'm going to leave that for that second coat. I'm going to say that's done. So, to save a little time, I have my other patch here that's already been second coated. Same thing. I'm just going to scrape off the high spots a little bit. And then another thin coat of mud. You're not going to get this perfect, believe me, so don't. That's why I tell you not to play with it too much because it's just not going to be perfect. So I'm going to let this patch dry. Tomorrow I'll hit that one with a third coat, let that dry, and then come back, hit them both with a light sanding of either 100 grit or 120 paper, and then I'm going to be ready for primer and paint. Repairing a hole in a wall is not a difficult project. It may take a little time only because you have the drying time for the mud, but other than that, it's pretty simple. And I hope I was able to show you just how simple it could be, and it's a project you can easily tackle yourself. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of the great contributors we have here at Home and Guard for Mere Mortals. It can help you with all kinds of projects, both inside and outside your home. And then come on over, check me out at the Homecraft Chronicles, and you'll see a lot more projects just like this one. That's it for me. Until I see you next time right here on Home and Garden from Ear Mortals, my name is Tom from the Homecraft Chronicles. I'll see you soon. So you need to update an old ceiling fixture. Well, with a couple basic tools and a little know-how, it's really not that difficult. First thing with any...